on the accomplished. We're going to make sure that our spool is in the correct position on our spool holder and we've raised our antenna. Now we're going to go to our first uh, thread guide. This is what I would call a pretension guide and you'll notice that there are three holes in this guide. And what this, the purpose of this guide is, is to put a little bit of tension on your thread as you're stitching. And what you will find is depending upon possibly the project, the thread, or the fabric you're using, you may or may not want to use all three holes. So there might be an instance where you only use the first hole or it might be an instance where you use two of them or use all three of them. So now that I have this thread guide threaded, my next step is to go to my tension disc. And to do this, I'm going to come along the right side here and you'll notice that you have a spring right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring that thread forward so I can get around into that spring. And that spring needs to have that thread in it in order for your tension to be correct on your machine. The next guide we're going to go to sits right underneath here and it's a little hook. I'm going right underneath that hook and then I'm going to go into that guide. So I'm just going to slide my thread from the right to, uh, from my left to my right, and then my last is the take-up lever. So when I'm threading, I always make sure that that take-up lever is up a little bit higher so that I can get at the eye of the take-up lever. I'm going to go ahead and slide that thread in that eye. There, it's in that eye. And then I'm going to come back down and I'm going to place that thread back in that same guide. And I have one more guide here. And then the final guide is right above the needle area. And in this instance, it's a little hook. So I always find the easiest is to hold my thread and kind of slide it in there from the right to the left. And I am now in position. So I've got my last two guides above my needle threaded. And my next step is to actually engage my needle threader. So I'm going to pull the needle threader into the down position and I'm going to pivot it to the right. So what that did was it put the hook system in the eye of the needle and it took this little red guide right out in front so that I can see it. What I'm going to do is wrap my thread around that little red guide to the right of it and then on the side the uh, hook that actually sits into the eye of the needle is engaged. So I've slid my thread in between those two guides and I have my thread in place and I'm just going to hold it in the up position and now on the right hand side of the thread guide I'm going to simply rotate that back towards me and the eye of the needle will be threaded and will lift up and it will pull the thread out and I can pull my loop and the rest of my thread out and my needle is threaded. We're ready to go ahead and pull that bobbin thread up. We'll raise the presser foot and then we will turn the hand wheel one full turn, pull on that needle thread and the bobbin thread will come up. We can see our bobbin thread. Let's pull it up and now we're ready to sew.